Blackthorn Group. Blackthorn Group, please. Your name? I, 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 okay, okay, my grandfather needs me, and my stupid ex lied to me about helping him, and now he's out to hurt Spalding, Elizabeth, but everybody else. Why do you need to say so? It's conference room A. Oh, thank you. Get out of my way, Bill. Alan, I am not letting you go in there. You're not going to stop me because Gus has chosen me to reclaim my family's company. Aren't you going to walk in there, tell them you're getting messages from Gus, from the great beyond? Yes, as a matter of fact, I want them to know that Gus can guide them to a bright tomorrow. With bigger dividends, fatter profits, even a greener environment, Bill. All they have to do is give me the power to get my company back. You know how easy it would be to let you walk in there and humiliate yourself? Humiliate me? I'm not going to humiliate myself. I'm going to vindicate myself. With that speech, Alan, you walk in there, they will not only laugh you out of that boardroom, they will laugh you out of New York and every other boardroom in America. The Spalding name will be a joke forever. You know what? I think you're scared because you know if when I beat you, I'm going to send you back to digging <coughs> ditches with your father, huh? Alan, <laughs> you have a brain blockage. The doctors don't know what they're talking about, Bill. You're a sick man, okay? You're a sick man. Now, I can easily let you walk in there and ruin your reputation. Well, I've got to go. They're getting started. Alan, listen to me. You're not going anywhere. Lizzie needs you. Do you understand me? Lizzie is your family. Now, I can throw you into the wolves and not even bat an eye. But I am not going to hurt your granddaughter, okay? Now, come on. You're done here. Let's go. No, Bill. I'm just getting started. Alan, please. What's this? You guys know what to do. Don't hurt him. Wait, 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 wait. He's not you well. You men know who I am. I'm Alan Spalding. Take me free elevator. Really, you're not going to get away with this. Where is it? Where's Spalding? Oh, hi. I'm sorry, my grandfather. Yes, look, I've got a room full of executives. They're waiting to hear from Spalding. Uh, well, their wait is over. I'm spawning. Okay, with what, Alan? Hmm? Could you please have them fire up the uh, jet, file a flight plan for Springfield? Tell them we're taking them into Cedars, and I want the head neurologist on standby, please. Thank you. I don't need a neurologist. I need a policeman. Help! I'm being held prisoner up here. Oh, uh, Alan, please. We're in New York. Remember, no one's going to hear you. And even if they did, you're going to think you're shooting an episode of CSI. This won't stop me. Investors are going to flock to me, Bill, and then you will be finished. Granddad. Elizabeth, thank God you're here. Are you all right? I am now. Do you have any idea what he has done to me? Yes, I do. He's our enemy. He stands for everything that we are against. Now, I want you to tell him how you truly feel about him. What you did to my grandfather and to my family was one of the nicest, most wonderful things anyone has ever done for us. Wonderful? He stopped me from going Making and... Making a fool of yourself or ruining any chance we'd ever have of making the name Spalding great again. That's his spin on it, but the truth of the matter is that, that he... he could have done nothing. He could have just let you walk in there, and then no one would ever challenge his authority again. But he didn't. He saved us. Well, you know, when he's better, I'm still going to kick his butt. Mm. Well, let's, let's get him home first. Okay. Going to miss our level playing field. Aw. Well. Who knows? Maybe we'll find another one. I am so lucky. You know, they have hospitals in New York, Alan. Have you ever tried arguing with Alan Small? <laughs> home. Take me home. No, Granddad, you are home. I tried calling your mom, you know. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Granddad. I'm here. So is Gus. Yeah, he's got a really nasty bump on his head. It's when he fell. Okay. We're going to have to do something, put something on that, uh, take some pictures, Alan. No, 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 leave my brain alone. No, you know, your brain is an antique. you got to take care of it. Uh, come on. Let's take a minute. 
One minute he's all powerful and then he's... I don't know if I'm strong enough to help him through this, not without my mom. You're not alone. Okay. You're not alone. Did I just dream it? Or were we in New York in a hotel room alone with nothing or nobody between us? That just happened. Mm. And if you did dream it, then I think I had the same dream. <laughs> Some water. Thanks. I know it's hard to be here so soon after Max, so you really don't have to stay. I want to be here. Though there's something that I need to tell you. Hey. Uh, here's the good news. Uh, the blockage isn't any worse. But uh, unfortunately, it's still there. Uh, the neurologist will explain everything to you, but the bottom line here is we're going to have to operate. Rick. The risks are there. I mean, there's a chance he may come out of this and never be quite the same again. Okay? Well, just say it. You think that would be an improvement. No, it's really no. nice. You guys were talking about my grandfather. He's in no condition for us to operate on right now, and right now he is dead set against this operation. I'm saying he'd rather die. Oh. He doesn't want to let go of Gus. Lizzie, you're going to have to spend some time and talk to him about this, okay? You need to rest. Rick says that you I have saw to... Gus. I don't care what Rick said. I saw Gus. I was floating in a sea of darkness, and there he was, bathed in light. You passed out. We put you on a plane. You were flying back to Springfield. They say that you need an operation. They want to take my son away from me. No, they want to help you. There's only one person who can help me. Granddad, please. You need to stop depending on Gus. The only person who can help me is you. I want you to look in the inside pocket of my jacket there. Something I want you to see. Oh. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> I was five. You gave me a briefcase and said that... You are the future of Spalding. And you still are. And if anything should happen to oh, me... I'm here with you.